Welcome to a Vox Commando video. We are about to release a new version of VoxWav Pro, the Wi-Fi microphone for Android for um, Vox Commando. And before we do, I'm going to demonstrate some of the new features and give you a quick tutorial on how to use them. So the main program hasn't really changed in terms of the user interface, but we have added some desktop widgets for Android that show a recording button let you turn the microphone on and off from the desktop and also uh, a widget to let you see all of your most commonly used commands as buttons that you can click and in addition uh, we can now receive broadcasted intents from another application like Tasker so Tasker if you have a an interface set up with Tasker, you can create a button that will turn the VoxWav microphone on and off from there. So I'll start by launching VoxWav Pro and pointing out some of the settings that you should verify. So first off, you obviously need to be connected to or targeting a machine run, running Vox Commando. And in your application settings, because we want to use VoxWav from the desktop, means that the uh, activity won't be in the foreground. You need to make sure that Run in Background is selected. This is now on by default, but if you're upgrading and you did not have that selected, this would be off, so make sure you turn that on. Going back to uh, audio settings, we'll also probably be using the ability for VoxWav to detect silence so that it knows when you finished speaking and you should adjust your start and stop volumes accordingly so I think the default threshold for stopping a recording is lower than 45 but on my Samsung tablet the mic is a bit sensitive so I have to raise this threshold to get it to turn off without having to wait a really long time so with that done we can do a simple quick test to make sure that VoxWive is working. Pay attention. Great. So now I will press the home button, not the back button, to exit out of VoxWive, and you'll see a toast at the bottom there telling us that VoxWive is running in the background. Now I'll show you the record widget. which by default is a one by one button but also shows you gives you feedback on recognized text and if you want you can make it larger I'm just gonna make it a bit larger to have more room to see the, the command that was recognized and I'll do a test now this button it works differently from the button in the Vox Wav activity in that you can only tap it. We're not allowed to do long presses on widgets because long presses are used to move and resize widgets. So I'm going to tap it and speak. Show help. These are all of the voice commands for this configuration. So you'll notice that it turned off by itself without me tapping it again but I can tap it if I wish to to turn it off just make sure that you don't tap it after it's turned off by itself because that'll obviously turn it back on again it is a toggle audio stop so that's that widget now the other widget that we have is a bit more complex it's the uh, VoxWav common phrase list and it actually not only has buttons for our most commonly used voice commands but it has a record button and a button to open VoxWav Pro so if you don't need to see the feedback here of the command that was recognized then you can get rid of 
the record widget and the app widget or the app launching icon and just use this. Test my echo. So this button works the same as the other widget. And this is the, this launches VoxWeb. Now, in case you're not familiar with the concept of commonly used phrases in VoxWeb, these are generated as you use VoxWeb. So when you first start off, this will be empty as though you had deleted all of your phrases. And when you go back, You'll see that after I record it updates the widget and it's empty. And as you give voice commands, it'll remember them, store them in a database, sort them by the, the ones that you use the most, and return the 25 most common ones in this widget sorted alphabetically. Show help. Show help. These are all of the voice commands for this configuration. Test my echo. Clipboard copy. Okay, so that covers that. Now the only other uh, thing to mention is the tasker intents. It's very easy to set up. If you open tasker, and create a task. I have created one already called VoxWav Listen, and I'll, I'll create one from scratch so that you can see the process of setting it up. So uh, I'll create a new task. I'll call it VW Rec Toggle because that's what it actually does. You add a single action in Tasker or a single macro element in this action. Um, it would be under system, send intent, and then you fill out only the first field here for action, and it is com.voxwav.listen. And of course, remember that this actually means toggle the microphone. We may change the in, or expand on the intent structure to give more control later on once we've played with this a bit more. So now that we have created this task, I go back to my home page. I can create a tasker widget using that task just to demonstrate it. So here there's a task or task widget. Drag this here. And I can select the VoxWeb record toggle task that we just created, which contains this one action. And we need to assign it an image. I can select something here, I'm sure. But I can't see anything from these, so I'll just select the guitar icon. So you'll see now when I click this tasker guitar icon that Vox Commando will start recording. Clipboard paste. And if I haven't already done it, uh, you can click on these buttons, and as you can see, these are all of the voice commands for this configuration. It triggers that command. So that's it for this demo. Look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what we can come up with next. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like this video.